Today's Bite Size CBD session is a little bit different. It's a moment to pause and reflect. So I'm here in beautiful Jersey and it's the end of the school year for me. I've still got more work to do, but I've just done my final event of the year and it's made me stop and think. And I think that's a really useful exercise. So I'm going to encourage you to do the same in this session as well. So I think we can sometimes lose track of why we do what we do and particularly we get to the end of the term or the end of the year and we're just tired, we're exhausted and we're maybe thinking about things we haven't done rather than congratulating ourselves and celebrating the achievements that have happened. So yeah, let's do some happy stuff. So the first thing I want you to reflect on, to think about with uh, the people around you is in the last term or the last school year, what is a challenge that you overcame? Now that might be a personal challenge, it might be a teaching challenge, it might be a difficult relationship with a pupil or another member of staff, it can be anything. But something that at some point in the school year you were struggling with, you were grappling with, you didn't know if you could do it and you did. What did you overcome? And you might explore a little bit about the, the how and how it feels now too. Next, I want you to have a think about something that really made you smile. Um, kind of, you know, something funny that happened. Something that when you look back on the last year, you just want to remember because it made you feel good inside. Either it was just funny or it was a real kind of warm and lovely moment. So something that made you smile. Next, I want you to think about a pupil who made you really proud. And I'd like you to think a little bit outside the box with this one. I want you to try and think about a pupil who wouldn't normally come straight to mind. It might not be the pupil who got the highest grades or did the things that look greatest on paper, but a pupil who overcame a significant challenge or who you were proud of because you helped them to achieve something that either you or they maybe thought that they couldn't do, and they did. Um, again, it might be an academic challenge, it might be a personal or social or emotional challenge, it could be anything, but a pupil who in some way made you proud. Next, I want you to take a moment to appreciate another member of staff in the room. It can be anyone, it might be someone you work closely with or it might be someone who you don't come across too much. But I want you just to stop and appreciate either that they've done something kind for you um, or um, they've taught you something or in some other way they've done something that at some point in the last term or the last year made your life just that little bit better. Um, and I would like you to either go and share that aloud with them now um, or to write it down and uh, give it to them. Remember sometimes that a physical reminder can be a really powerful thing so you might actually go away and do this as homework and write a note to someone and leave it in their cubby hole or pigeonhole uh, so that they've got something that they can keep and know that they're really appreciated you're probably very very tired right now and hopefully you feel a little bit more connected with why you're doing what you're doing and a bit happier having done that kind of reflection activity but I want you to take this moment while you're at the end of the term of the year and think ahead a little bit to the summer holidays and to the next term and I want you to think about how you might practice self-care moving forward so what might be a small thing that you can do within your working life to look after yourself a little bit better and I want you to think about that and I want you to voice it aloud to another person and then to revisit this at the beginning of next term and to try and hold each other to account for that so it Thank you for joining in with this. I hope you found it at least a little bit helpful and that it made you feel a little bit good inside and reminded you why you do what you do. Um, I just really want to end this video and this school year by saying a huge thank you for everything that you're doing uh, to support the children and young people in your care. Um, it can sometimes feel like a thankless task, like we're pushing custard uphill and like we're not making a difference. But believe me, you really, truly do. What you do really matters and it makes more difference than you'll ever know. And and yeah, so a huge thank you from me and from all of the children and young people in your care to you. Thank you and have a absolutely wonderful summer break.